have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I woke up new to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Hello? I bless the rains down in Africa! There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun.
Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. I have to fix it. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 0. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I don't know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean, I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and now I've got to worry about who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Up. Hey, wake up. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. I mean, we've had issues with the radios going out in this area before. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. 
what did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right, well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence.
who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How could these girls be so stupid? <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm. I don't know. Um... Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Well, I am flush with ropes now. Just found an old pack full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, you only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer.
Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Thank <laughs> you. 